What up techies? If you've ever found yourself wondering whether we're living in a simulated world, you can rest assured that at least one thing is real, the universe itself. That's according to the James Webb Telescope, which has just detected a massive structure that predates the universe. The structure, which is made up of stars and galaxies, is so old that it's only been visible for a brief moment in the history of the universe. But in that time, it's managed to form an incredibly detailed image of itself. So, while we may not be able to say for sure whether we're living in a simulated world or not, we can say with certainty that the universe is very old and very real thanks to the James Webb Telescope. Since its launch on December 25, 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has changed the way we view the cosmos. It is the largest telescope ever built and has the potential for the highest infrared resolution and sensitivity. The Integrated Science Instrument Module or ISIM structure supplies the James Webb with electrical power, a computational framework, cooling capacity, and structural stability, making it unquestionably the most advanced telescope ever built. The telescope's guiding camera and the other four scientific instruments are all stored in the ISIM. The infrared imager near cam is used as a wavefront sensor for the observatory, while the near spec performs spectroscopy in the same range as the near cam, and the mid infrared instrument detects wavelengths in the mid to long infrared region. During scientific observations, the line of sight is held steady with the use of instruments like the Fine Guidance Center, Near Infrared Imager, and Slitless Spectrograph. Until now, the JWTS's photos and data have shown to be more than sufficient to justify the $10 billion invested in its construction. The first images in decades from the telescope were released to the public on July 12, 2022, and experts agree they show Webb at his very best as he prepares to further uncover the infrared universe. The photographs included those of distant cliffs in the cosmos and the Carina. Even more stunning and awe-inspiring images of the cosmos have been provided to scientists by the James Webb Space Telescope, including Nebula Exoplanet Wasp-6b, the Southern Ring Nebula, Stefan's Quintet, and the brilliant deep field view of the universe. Some of these images have left astronomers and cosmologists quite confused. Since the JWST data and images were made public, a slew of astronomical papers have been published, some of which have caused panic among cosmologists. Why the sudden uptick in anxiety? Because some of these papers seem to suggest that the JWST data and images directly contradict the Big Bang theory. We need to know what the Big Bang actually is before we can make sense of what's going on. The Big Bang is the standard cosmological model, created from measurements of the structure of the universe and theoretical considerations to explain the expansion of the universe from a state of great density and temperature. According to precise measurements, this model describes an increasingly concentrated cosmos preceded by a singularity, in which space and time lose meaning. This model provides a comprehensive explanation for a wide variety of observed phenomena, such as the abundance of light elements, large-scale structure, and cosmic microwave background. The Big Bang is a misleading name for the expanding universe because it suggests a firecracker exploding at a specific time and place with a center, when in fact the infinite universe is expanding into itself, and the universe has no center. The Big Bang occurred everywhere at once. It was a process, not an event. Cosmic Background Explorer, Wilkins Microwave Anisotropy Probe, and Planck were the spacecraft that helped NASA and ESA create the map. When the JWST was conceived, the cosmos was extremely smooth with only slight ripples in temperature. The previous spacecraft, such as the Cosmic Background Explorer, the Wilkins Microwave Anisotropy Probe, and Planck, had already observed events further back in time. According to Dr. John Navick, a senior project scientist for the James Webb Space Telescope, the primary goal of the telescope is to visualize the first objects that formed as the universe began cooling down after the Big Bang, a period that may be hundreds of millions of years later than the one the other satellites were built to see. The Big Bang theory is the dominant explanation for the origin of the universe, and in its simplest form, it states that the universe as we know it began with an infinitely hot and dense single point that inflated and stretched initially at unimaginable speeds, and then at a relatively slow rate. However, the formation of the first stars and galaxies in the universe remains a mystery to humanity. Most cosmological theorists have staunchly defended the Big Bang theory for decades, but new data from the JWST is causing theorists like Alice and Kirkpatrick to panic. Alice is an astronomer at the University of Kansas in Lawrence, and she claims that the latest revelations have caused her to question whether or not everything she has done in the field is wrong. Some scientists believe the Big Bang concept which states that the universe is expanding and an odd optical illusion must exist in deep space is incompatible with the existence of the extremely small, smooth, old, and surprisingly many galaxies. The images show galaxies getting smaller and smaller, even the galaxies with much greater luminosity 
and masks than our own Milky Way appear two to three times smaller in these images, which contradicts the idea that galaxies and other objects in the expanding space look smaller with increasing distance because their light is supposed to have left them when they were close to us. The web photos show disproportionately smooth disks and tight spiral shapes, precisely like we observe in modern galaxies, which contradicted the predictions of Big Bang theorists, who had predicted terribly mangled galaxies jumbled by repeated collisions and mergers. According to Lerner and Scarpa, a merge is a highly common occurrence. However, the data from the Panic article shows that there are roughly 10 times as many smooth spiral galaxies as projected. This evidence completely debunks the merger hypothesis, since the Big Bang theory states that the most distant galaxies in the James Webb images are seen as they were at the time of the Big Bang. The existence of these galaxies is evidence that the Big Bang theory did not occur, and just as there must be no galaxies older than this, most cosmologists and astronomers agree that there is an explanation for every question raised by Learn and Scarpa's article. The Big Bang is most certainly not dead, and the recent JWST observations haven't disproven the theory. These observations have revealed some unexpected and strange things about the universe, but the Big Bang is based solely on two facts. First, that more distant galaxies have a higher redshift than closer ones, and second, that the universe is expanding. It is a popular fallacy that redshift implies that distant galaxies are rushing away from us since their surface brightness is lower than that of closer galaxies in these photos. However, space itself is expanding, which is putting additional distance between us and the distant galaxies. This slight distinction highlights the fact that cosmic expansion, and not relative motion, is responsible for the galactic redshift. While it is true that the results of the James Webb Space Telescope don't match up perfectly with experts' predictions, astronomers, were hoping to find such puzzling data, which is why they spent so much money on the telescope in the first place. Despite this, experts agree that the data collected by this magnificent telescope doesn't prove that the Big Bang model is wrong, though it does suggest that some of our assumptions about the model may be incorrect. Rohan and Nadu of the Harvard Center for Astrophysics have said that we may be looking at the most distant starlight that anyone has ever seen. The Glass C-13 galaxy was discovered just weeks after the first images of the JWST were made public and it dates back to around 300 million years after the Big Bang, which is 100 million years earlier than anything previously identified. If you think there are even older galaxies out there, and if Lerner and Scrapper are onto something with their theory of the non-expanding universe, let us know in the comments below. The scientists analyzing the James Webb data have found that this galaxy is the mass of a billion suns, which is quite a surprising feature that they do not understand. This is some pretty amazing news. Not only does this prove that the universe is very old, but it's also given us an incredibly detailed image of itself. We are excited to see what else the James Webb Telescope will be able to uncover about our universe. If you're as excited as we are, make sure to like and comment on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all the latest space news.